blessed, glad to be here. <laughs> That's for sure. What have these first few days been like for you? What's been the major acclimation process that's, that's gone, gone on here? Well, it's, it's truly been one of those tornadoes. That's for sure. Um, you know, you can never train um, for this. You can never, uh, as hard as you want to work out or you, you figure that you, you got it and you're ready to go, there's always that ramp up when you get back amongst men that's actually doing it on an everyday basis, catching up to the pack, you know. Um, and that's the thing, you know, catching up to those guys and, and meeting them where they at. And um, that first day was, who it was a nail biter. But after a while, um, we start, you know, getting your, getting your legs up under you. Um, get acclimated and playing in something like this, where it's always go, 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 go. Um, it's, it's a first, so um, truly grateful for the, 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 um, the op to be able to do that be in that position um, to challenge myself and such. And yeah, I'm excited. Josh, a lot of accomplished veterans will wait until training camp is over to sign for obvious reasons. Uh, did, you, did you do that? Uh, were you fielding offers before? Or, or why did you end up signing so relatively late? I mean, honestly, um, I've been blessed to play this game for 10 years, man, honestly. A uh, whole decade in a sense of, you know, um, a lot of people go through life and they find out what they want to do, right? And they go to college, they go to school, and they become a professional in it. Um, shoot, I got my professional degree in football. And honestly, this is kind of how I've been my whole life. And it's something I want to do, I'm going to do it. And, and this time of year, I can honestly say I've done what I want to do in this league except one thing, and that's winning a championship. So uh, my next suitor for me was going to be who that was um, on my list. And they was, <laughs> San Fran was at the very top of that list. And um, we had a, um, I would say, um, each, we've been talking to each other for a while. <laughs> we've been courting each other for quite some time. So it's been months we've been courting each other. And, um, you know, some other teams was in the mix of that. And do I care to say no, because I'm here. <laughs> um, but to, to, to say why did I choose to um, take my time? Because, you know, for me, I want to get it right. I wanted to get it right. And to have the option, the opportunity to sit out and see and wager um, the bets and see who was at that top. And, and these guys stuck through it through the end. And, you know, I was ready to go the first week. I had a, a target date that I wanted to hit. I wanted to be signed for the, like the first week of going into the game. Um, and I was going to work on my own off season. And so uh, 49ers stuck with us this whole time and we ended up talking and, you know, it came to where we wanted to be in the sense of, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm here to win a championship. It's not so much about the numbers now than it is about, you know, getting a, a ring on my hand and hosting that Lombardi, something that I've always cherished to do. And I feel like this team has that ability and have the capabilities um, to make that happen. And I'm going to do everything in my power to, to um, help to push us, you know, to, to the edge and getting that done. Do you think you're caught up to the point where you could play 40, 50 snaps on Sunday? My mindset is. I don't, I don't, I don't see nothing, nothing wrong with that from my mindset being state where I'm, I'm ready to go. Um, you always got to be ready to go. I think that's a, that's your professional job and your assignment. No matter if you just came off the street, or you know you've been here for a while, you always have to have the mindset of, you know, getting crunched, thrown into the fray and crunch time. You gotta, gotta make a play. And I've always lived off of, you know, back against the wall. How you come out, and that's kind of how I, I take this approach. Or Carr or Barrett. Did you know them well at all? Did they talk to you before you came here? Uh, not really. I'm not those guys, though, from a distance. Like I said, I've been courting with San Fran for months, man. Two to three months, actually. And it's I've been seeing them um, through the preseason and some of their practices, watching some of you guys' videos, actually, and then just catching them on a glimpse here and there. And you know, just admiring them from afar. And I just always love the way they compete and work. 
You know, they're they're scrappy guys, and they don't you know get all the accolades they probably should get because of that front man. Oh my gosh! But it's just those guys come to work. They show up with their lunch pail and ready to work. They hard hats on and, and go and knocking down any wall that stands in front of them. And that's something to be said and it's to be commended. Um, they're really cool cats, and I'm so grateful to be a, a part of the DB room because. <laughs> a lot of rooms that <laughs> like those guys, but I can say this: um, I'm, I'm extremely happy to have guys like that who vets and savvy at the at the game. As far as learning curves, is this um, similar to anything that you've done before? Defensive um, yeah, similarities. There are similarities. I mean, when you look at it from you know where I've been and other places, I think terminology though that's a bit different. That's for sure different. Um, but at the same time, it's the same um, concepts um, to you picking up um, coverages. And it's, it's kind of funny because I was just talking to uh, Jimmy and JV and uh, E-Man, some of the other guys that was there, um, that, oh, man, we get to drop <laughs> certain coverages now and get to play on um, th that wheel. And, and for us, we always wanted to do that. Um, throughout our professional career, we always wanted to, to drop out and, and not really midpoint, and, and that I get to do. So <laughs> it's, it's, it's pretty cool to, uh, to, to see that and, and, and let us play a bit, you know, and I think that's, that's fun. Can you explain that a little bit, like what, you're, what you're talking about there in layman's terms? What, what are you talking about? Well, if I was explaining it in layman's terms, then you'd kind of get our playbook win. So can't really do that. <laughs> but I'm having fun. <laughs> basically you're not going to know the whole defense or what everybody else is doing you have an opportunity to just kind of pinpoint your particular assignment for this particular game plan absolutely i have a job you know i have a specific job that i that i have to do um and, and know the coverages and then execute that's, that's pretty much it i think everybody has a job and assignment and they have to execute and so for us it's the same way and I don't have to hear all the other stuff that comes with it. I just got to hear what coverage it, and I got to go and play it. You mentioned had this mission for months. What was the point at which this worked out? Did they meet your price or? or well, it was some things that they did. It was just like we, we had conversation with, and it just got closer to that time to where, you know, we both was antsy to get, to get a deal done. And so came down to it. Um, hey. Excited to be here. Um, happens, happens. I know this is COVID year, so it, 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 things happen. I think the cap happened and so forth. So be it. We landed here and um, we accept the challenge to that. Um, and they got 110% me. And I'm, I'm going to give 110% um, everything I have for them. And so, yeah, here we are. You know. Um. West Coast so far from uh, your horses? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't have my boots with me. But no, um, I, I don't know. It's, it's a different feel. I've never played on the, uh, the West Coast like that for a period of time. I've always been on the East Coast. Now coming over here, it's, um, it's a different vibe. I kind of caught myself the other day just, you know, um, sitting back there on a the gator after the practice and just looking out over the horizons and looking at those mountains like, Man, this is perfect. Where have these been all these other years? <laughs> you know, coming to something like this is just, it's beautiful, man. And it's a setting to where you feel like you appreciate it and, and you hear and you get to see all the, you know, the beauty. The weather is just great. So you can't beat that. Um, I was about to tweet something like, man, I love this squad because these guys are so inviting. They let me come in, let me be myself. And, and I'm just trying to, you know, be a servant leader and help out where I can and, you know, get hitting the ground running. Thank you, Josh. Thank you. Appreciate it.